students in the previous lecture we discussed about the construction of the eye now we'll discuss about the working of the eye so now the light rays coming from the object gapped in front of us enters the cornea of the eye enters this outer bulging part then pass through the pupil the hole in the middle of iris and the light rays fall on the eye lens now as you know our eye lens is a convex lens so it converges the light rays and produces a real and inverted image of the object here on the retina and one more thing this outer surface of cornea this acts as a convex lens because it's bulging so it it and it's transparent it also acts as a convex lens due to which cornea converges most of the light rays entering the eye and then final convergence of light rays is done by the eye lens to focus the image of an object exactly on the retina now the image formed on the retina is conveyed to the brain by these optic nerves as these optic nerves are connected to the brain so whenever image is formed on the ret retina these optic nerves can convey that image to the brain and brain gives rise to the sensation of visual now actually how retina how optic nerves uh, convey that image it's because this retina as in the previous lecture i told you that it this retina has a large number of light sensitive cells rods and cones they respond to the intensity of light and the color of objects what happens when the image falls on the retina these light sensitive cells get activated and when they get activated they generate electrical signals and this retina sends those electrical signals to the brain through this optic nerve and give rise to the sensation of vision okay so although now the question is as you know that in most of the cases convex lens forms a real and inverted image so it means the image formed on the retina is inverted right but we do not see objects as inverted right it's because our mind interprets the image as that of an erect object so we don't see inverted objects we see er objects erect okay so main thing the eye is having that is eye consists of a convex lens eye lens and a screen that's called a retina so eye lens forms the real image of the objects on the retina okay and we are able to see the objects now this human eye is just like the camera right in the eye you are having convex lens eye lens right and that eye lens forms a real and inverted image of an object on the light sensed screen called a retina same happens in a camera in a camera you are also having a lens convex lens that's camera lens there and that also forms a real image and inverted image of an object on the light sensitive photographic film it means in our eye we are having a screen retina in camera you are having a light sensitive photographic film so eye is working same as the working as camera is working but let me remind you there's one difference between the camera lens and the eye lens that is the focal length of the lens in camera is fixed it means focal length cannot be changed in camera okay but the focal length of the convex lens present inside the eye can be changed and um one let me remind you one more thing the eye focal length of eye lens can be changed by the action of ciliary muscles as you know ciliary muscles change the thickness of the eye lens while focusing so focal length of the eye lens can be changed but the focal length of the lens used in camera can't be changed so this was all about the construction and the working part of the human eye thank you students